And now college students, they're back on campus, meaning now's the perfect time to discuss alcohol intake with your kids. Here to talk more about having those tough conversations and show us some of these NA, the non-alcoholic options, we have the founder and CEO of Rationale Brewing. Jamie, good to see you. Yeah, awesome to be here. So you were sitting around a campfire with your kids I talking was. about beer. I was, yeah. <laughs> well, us. Yeah, and, I, and I'm a big ABV beer drinker, so I enjoy drinking beer with alcohol. So this wasn't a conversation that was just led around sobriety, but it was more around moderation. Okay. What's unique about my story and also as founders that, that we like to go out to the local haunts and enjoy some craft beer. Yeah. And uh, I was noticing that my son, even though he was just about to go to college, was already starting to dabble in some beers with his buddies. And so uh -huh. this was a Friday night sitting around a campfire, yeah. having just a really authentic conversation around my family history, which involved a lot of alcoholism. Okay. And what I wanted to avoid was that genetic disorder being passed down mm. to him or Important. also making smart choices for himself. Yeah. And the conversation just led to making rational choices around how much he drank, making okay. rational choices about who he drank with, making rational choices about when he drank. Right. And my younger son um, was just being a total smart ass, blurted out, <laughs> when you launch a beer company called Rationale? And that was the moment <laughs> the, the brand name happened. The Rationale Choices, Yeah, amazing. exactly. So it, it was just an ironic, co amazing conversation, just authenticity wow. around moderation. And so yeah. good on you to talk to your kids about this, because I think we grew up in a time when it was never discussed. You just kind of go to college and figure it out with your friends and learn the hard way sometimes. So yeah. glad you had that talk, and then look what came of it. Yeah, this so is, how is awesome this? is this? So we, <laughs> yeah. we are brewing some incredible non-alcoholic craft beer. Uh, we have access technology that is allowing us to go through a double fermentation process. Okay. And we also use a reverse osmosis, which really allows you to bring out all the quality and flavors of the beer. Nice. So, so this you want beer, it to taste like beer. Yeah, it has to, because we're, we're, beer, we're drinkers, beer drinkers, right? Okay, so there's no way it. we're going to launch a brand that doesn't taste amazing. Nice. Okay. Um, we right now have our three varieties yeah, of beer. We have? we have a Mexican lager. Nice. We have a, a hazy See? IPA, and oh, then we yeah. have a West Coast IPA. Okay. Yeah. You managed to make it things hoppy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, this is where right. I'm hoping that we're going to try some beer today. Let's try. I'm totally okay. happy to try. I was being honest with you earlier. Yeah. The only time I've ever had non-alcoholic beers when I was pregnant, which was twice in my life. So yeah. All right. <laughs> multiple months. Um, so I taste tested a few of these okay. NA ones. So yeah, let, let's see. What are you going to pour for we're me? We're going to raise the bar out of the okay. gates because <laughs> lagers are really difficult to do from okay. a non-alcoholic perspective. But let's see how you feel about All this right, one. All right, let's do it. All right. So this one's your what, Mexican Cerveza? This is Cerveza. a Mexican Cerveza. Very yep. popular. And we are available locally across Whole Foods, Jimbo's. Nice. Uh, Seaside Market, which pour. is actually where we launched. Oh, good. Uh, Seaside was your first spot? It was, oh. yeah. We launched in Seaside Market. Okay, there you thank go. you, thank you. Are you going to have some with Yeah, them? absolutely. What did you pour? That's the Mexican This lager. is the Mexican lager. And usually I would have a lime, but uh, forgot okay. that this morning. So rookie <laughs> move for being on air. You don't need okay, a lime cheers. to mask it. Cheers, cheers. Mm. So, full body beer, right? Wow, it has. And flavor. you're a beer drinker, yeah. Yes. Got the flavor, and it has it the has body, flavor. it has the carbonation. Yeah. If you throw a lime on this, it is a dead ringer for some of your favorite Mexican yeah. lagers. So, when you are talking to your kids about this, college yeah. students, for example, what do you suggest? Have a couple of these throughout the night instead yeah. of uh, alcohol. Well, alcohol. <laughs> every, everyone's a little bit different, but the reality is, is that our kids are going off to college, and they're mm -hmm. they're. They're consuming alcohol. Many of them are. And right. so with my son, and my, my oldest son is now third year at University of Alabama, nice. big party okay. school. My other son yeah. just went to the University of Toronto. And what I'm coaching them on is being able to feel comfortable walking into a social setting mm -hmm. and having a non-alcoholic beverage in their hand if they right. choose not to drink that night. And or if they're choosing a drink, maybe they crush a couple of these first. Yeah. And then they have one of their regular ABV beers. So okay. that at the end of the night, maybe they had three beers, four beers, and two or three of them were non-alcoholic. Okay. So and mixing and matching is a great it's idea. It's all about moderation. Because when you're in a social setting, just having something in your hand sometimes is all... Yeah. people are wanting and having it NA is a great option. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Appreciate cheers it. Cheers to you. Cheers to Thank you. Great idea here. <laughs> All right. And we're going to be right back with a quick check of your forecast. Of course, the hot weather, something like this could help cool Definitely. you off. Definitely. 100 like, degrees. Oh, yeah, you got to crush some Mexican cervezas this weekend. It really does yeah. taste good. So well done. Well done. We'll be right back.